Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to Manchester United versus Liverpool FC in the quarter finals in the FA Cup at Old Trafford. A huge game this is. I always look forward to Manchester United against Liverpool. Then, of course, we play Liverpool again at Old Trafford in April as well. So, two very quick meetings in quick succession. This is the lineup I'll go with. In goal, it's going to be Mr. Banana, Andre Onana, right back, Diego Dillo. Centre backs, it's probably going to be Johnny Evans and Raphael Moran. Then, in the left back position, I would play Amrabat in the left back position because in a high profile fixture, Fixer Lindelof sometimes looks a bit shaky in the left back position because it's not his natural position. So, yeah, Amrabat in there. And then Central Defence in field, Casemiro. Then in the midfield, Kobe Mainu. Then it would be the captain, number eight, on the right wing, probably be Scott McTominay again. Then left wing, Ganacho, and be interested to see if he is hit, so I'll go for Hoyland, but more than likely number 10 is going to start, to be honest. So, yes, that's the lineup I believe it's going to be. Now, Manchester United in this one, they must start the game off strongly, because I know Liverpool have had injuries, and they are getting most of their top players back now. If we do not play well then this Liverpool team will absolutely punish us. Because when they're on form, they are on form. If they press you high, they force you into errors. I mean, look at them last weekend. They completely dominated Manchester City. And not many teams are able to do that against Manchester City. So Manchester United have really got to be on their toes in this one, otherwise, I believe Liverpool could win this one 3 1. But as it's a cup, you never know what's going to happen. An upset could happen. I mean, but come on, should we be talking about an upset happening between Manchester United and Liverpool? For fuck's sake, it's one of the biggest games in England, if not the biggest games in England. But it just shows you that Manchester United will no doubt be the underdogs in this one. But as I said, it is a cup. Anything can happen. So we will wait and see what happens. I think, unfortunately, Liverpool will beat us in the Premier League next year. Because, you know, they'll be all fired up for that one. They're looking to win the Premier League title. Level on points with Arsenal on goal difference. So, yeah, let's wait and see what happens. But three horse title race. Wow, it's absolutely unbelievable that you get three teams battling out for a Premier League title but hopefully Hoyland is hit he will at least come off the bench and hopefully try and get his confidence back again because before he got injured he's on absolute fire he scored six games in a row eight goals in six games unbelievable stuff by Rasmus Hoyland obviously be interested to see what sort of football the balls crawled plays. Of course, in my live show yesterday, I had someone in the live chat say, oh, I don't appreciate you calling ETH the balls crawled. Well, cry. I don't care. This is my YouTube channel, and I'll say what I like. And I already put a mutant in the bin yesterday. Someone who commented on one of my videos saying, oh, you're just doing your own things for clicks uh, get in the bin seriously we put him in the bin you're out in here faster before you can say but 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 anyone who wants to comment that on my channel say oh you're doing things for clicks there's no pr on this channel so get out of here seriously in the fucking bin who ever thinks that that i do stuff for clicks no i call out the bollocks okay that's what I do on my YouTube channel, because I care about my football club. So what if I'm ETH out? He may be your manager, but he's not my manager. It's as simple as that. But, 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 Mr. Joshy J, back in. He won a trophy last season. Get behind number 10. He stung good for the community. This and that is just absolutely ridiculous, man, honestly. 
It's just that I've had enough of fans talking to absolute bollocks. But hey ho, it is what it is. Like I said, if you're still out and I'll get in, then fair enough. I'm not against that, okay? It's just he's your manager, so you're trusting your own process, and I'm trusting my own. That my own process is that he's not my manager. That any offs need to get rid of this bald crawled at the end of the season. It's as simple as that. But, 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 you're not a true fan and you don't. Back the team, shut up. It's like, just seriously, shut up. Haven't these mutants got anything better to do? Seriously. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And join me on Sunday for a match reaction. Then Monday for player ratings. Come on, United. Let's go. Show some fight. Bye-bye.